So, hello and welcome to another Hornby Magazine video. Today we will be taking a closer look at the Hornby 2020 catalogue. And obviously I'm Richard and I'm joined by Mike. And somewhere is Luna the workshop dog. Yes, yeah, she's come to join us Dotted as well. around yeah, yeah. on this uh, rather chilly uh, January morning. It is a bit, yes. It's going to be cold again. It's, it's January, so... But hopefully this will be well worth it because yes. we are taking a look at the new Centenary range. Yes. and. That's right, well, it's not just Hornby's 2020 catalogue this year, it's actually it's their 100th anniversary as well, so as you can expect, there's some nice surprises in store as well. Some biggies coming. Definitely, yes, lots of exciting things, some icons from Hornby's past as well as railway history's past as well, um, and some things I think people won't be expecting. That's, uh, there's certainly a few things that caught my eyes when we, when we first saw this. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, exciting times. <clears throat> so I should get some notes out of the way before we get going. Yes. Um, now this video may be quite a long one because we're going through the bulk of uh, Hornby's range. Um, it will be time stamped in the description below, so if you want to skip forward and see other bits, feel free. But also, uh, you can purchase the catalogue with uh, February's edition of Hornby Magazine as well. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah so we've got, uh, we've got an exclusive promotion with both Tesco's and WH Smith's, um, where you can save £4 by buying the February issue of Hornby Magazine with the Hornby 2020 catalogue. Uh, and that promotion is available in Tesco for one week from January the 8th. And with uh, WH Smiths for two weeks from January the 9th. Uh, so if you want to take advantage of that offer, you need to get in the stores, get that quick as well. That's what I normally do, to be fair. Yeah. It is a good offer, actually. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a nice, both products we hope are nice. And obviously our February issue as well is, yep. is full of Hornby 2020 catalog content in there as well. And I'll throw um, up an image of that now. Yep. And, uh, and lots of other things as well. So obviously the magazine isn't just about Hornby this month. We've got lots of other things, but you know, the Hornby 2020 and their 100th anniversary is a big thrust in this. And actually Hornby's centenary year will be a, a big component of what we do through the year in the magazine as well. So we've got some really exciting product content coming up for that. Uh, we've got exclusive interviews, we've got some historical features, loads of good stuff for people to get into and get their head down and have a bit of a read. So yeah, it's going to be a good year. It's exciting. Yeah. Centenary range is the best place to start. It's, it's you know, like I said, centenary year. It's an important part of Hornby's business. Not many model railway companies are going to get the opportunity to actually mark their hundredth anniversary. Um, you know, it's, it's, I know there's a couple of done it over in in, in the in Europe as well, um, but in the UK certainly, I think Hornby's the first to reach hundred years old. So, yep. Um, and it all started in 1920 with Frank Hornby's um, tin plate through uh, clockwork logos, um, and they were made to O gauge then as well. So. Interesting you mentioned that logo actually, uh, Mike. Yes, <laughs> yeah. interesting isn't it? Yeah, because actually one of the things that's coming up in the Hornby 2020 centenary range is a collection of four O-gauge tin plate logos which have been made based on the original Hornby number one locomotive from 1920 uh, and they've been made exclusively for Hornby. There's only a hundred of each being made. Uh, and they're coming out progressively during the year. So you've got one in LMWR black, you've got one in Midland Railway red, you've got one in, uh, I think it's Caledonian blue, and there's one in Great Northern green as well. Um, so they're all based on that original 040 clockwork tender engine that Hornby made way back when in its first years of production. I can imagine those being extremely popular. Yes, definitely, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're a bit more expensive than you'd expect for a double gauge model. I mean, they're £524.99 a piece. Um, well, that's the price at the moment we've been given. Um, and, yeah, but they're... And they're O-gauge as well. They are O-gauge, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely O-gauge. Uh, <coughs> like I said, they're also three rail as well. So they've got uh, pickups in the centre rather than yeah. being like clockwork. So, um, But they'll fit in with the, the collector's market for that as well. Um, some really nice vintage packaging to go with them as well. So that'll be a really nice collector's item I think. So. And I suppose to add to the collector's factor I think all the items in the centenary range are extremely limited. Yes they are they've all been limited yeah, it's, this is the most limited item is this, this um, three rail product um, but yeah they're, they're, they're all these centenary products we're talking about now they are all limited production models. So. Right so next in the centenary range we move forward to the 1930s uh, and that was a, a really important time in Hornby's history. Oh, yes. Yeah, Because we saw the I suppose the beginnings of Hornby Dublo. 
That's right, yeah, which paved the way for the models we have now. So, so, so they, they, in 1938, they started producing the Hornby Double O locos, and there was uh, there were two main items they produced in terms of locomotives. Then there was uh, Sir Nigel Gresley, uh, 4498, in its LNR Garter blue livery, and they also produced uh, an N2062 tank. And one of the big things that differentiated those from the previous O gauge products was that all of a sudden we had locos that actually really represented the models, re represented the real locomotives in model form. So we had a proper 462. Yeah, it had all the correct number of wheels. It was with suddenly it. a real train. That's right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it could fit on a tabletop as well. You know, all of a sudden you could fit this, this double O gauge railway would fit on a six foot by four foot circuit, which people could fit in the home for much more comfortably as well. So, so, so yeah, we've got a special train set from home, haven't we? Uh, yes, it's, um, I suppose it's in the original packaging as such. Yes, yeah, restyled. Original original designed, packaging, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Um, Due in June, I believe, and yes. with an RRP of 249.99. That's right, yeah, and that includes um, Hornby's high fidelity model of the Gresley A4 as 4498s and Angel Gresley, and a pair of its high detail Gresley teak coaches as well. Um, plus, you get the circuit track and you get the uh, analog controller to run it with as well. So, that's a really nice. So it's quite a nice set, really. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. period set, and again, a really good collector's piece as well. So, uh, And again, like the, the previous model we just talked about, it is a limited edition, there's only a thousand units of these produ being produced. So. And of course, everything in the centenary range, at least, comes with a uh, certificate. That's right, yes. Yeah, yep. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Right, next, we're going to move forward to the 1940s. And actually, I'm really quite excited about this model. So, How many have you pre-ordered? Uh, well, not all of them yet. But, so it's only, there's only 500 coming, so I'm oh. going to have to be quick if I do want one. So, um, There might be some left. Maybe. It's, <laughs> if not, they're all in my garage. So, <laughs> so, uh, one of the things that really caught my eye about this is... Uh, well, it's two things actually. It's the packaging and the way it's being made as well. Um, so this is a model of the Stania Duchess, which I think most of our followers are probably quite familiar with. We yeah. have videos of the Stania Duchess that Hornby produced in first in 2017. Um, so it's using that um, art, that design, but it's going to have a diecast body on the loco. So Hornby's been quite clever here because they, they explained that the original model of Duchess of Athol 6231 that had uh, a diecast loco body, um, it had locomotive drive and it had a plastic tender body. So Hornby's gone back and produced a brand new tooling to allow them to make a die cast body for 6231 Duchess of Athol. Um, and just to make it even better, they're putting it in uh, original Hornby 00 style candy stripe blue packaging as well. Um, I think that's going to be a really, really nice product. That's, uh, it's definitely, I mean, they're, they're absolutely nailing this collectible lark. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my, my collectibles list is, is going up of things that I need to open my wallet for already. So, uh, um, <laughs> And I should say as well that that model of 6231, that's to mark the 1940s era of, of Hornby Double uh, 6231 was introduced in 1948 and it was the first Hornby Double logo to be produced after the Second World War as a, as a brand new product. And again, I believe that's due in May with an RRP of 249.99 again. That's right, yeah. Exactly right. They like that number. Yeah, yeah that's right, yeah. And I should say as well, uh, in terms of the loco, it's going to have the same mechanism as the 2017 release duchesses uh, and i believe it also have the same tender so it's going to have a 28 pin uh, sorry an eight pin decoder socket and a 28 millimeter space for a speaker as well oh very nice right so next after the 1940s now actually comes the 1950s hornby's centenary range goes through decade by decade uh, and the next one is again quite a nice little addition they're doing um there used to be a range called dinky diecast uh, which was diecast road vehicles to go with the hornby double a products um Hornby has reintroduced a selection of models uh, working with Oxford Diecast uh, and put it under the name of Double O Diecast. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't get the dinky name because that's owned by another another manufacturer. Um, but these are going to be produced in 1950s style cardboard packaging as well. Uh, and you've got a little collection of road vehicles there, all in Double O gauge, so 176 scale. Um, each one's limited to 2,000 units. Uh, and there's things like they're going to do a Volkswagen um, split screen uh, panel van um, right up my street. I was going to say. Um, with Hornby Double O on the side, which again, I think I should definitely be having one of those. Um, there'll be a Scammell Scarab with uh, Hornby Trains uh, decorated box van body on the back. Uh, there's a Morris J van, there's an Austin K8 with a uh, Margate um, pictures on the side of it. Uh, there's also an MGTC and a Fortune Tractor as well. Uh, so again, they're much cheaper than some of the locos have been talking about so far. So it's, they start at £9.99 uh, and rise up to £14.99 for the RRP on the Scammell Scarab. Um, like I say, they're all, again, part of the Centennial range. Nice period packaging, another good collectible item. So. And they have indicated as well, if they do well, they will increase the range going forward as well. That's right, they did mention that, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's so uh, 
who knows yeah exactly yeah so uh, let's see let's see what happens there so. i don't know how you can judge if a limited edition product does well because there's not many of them but i suppose if, <laughs> if limited edition performs well and all limited editions sell through you could do different vehicles to go in the range to expand upon that limited edition range you obviously can't do another run of a limited edition because then that takes away <laughs> the point of limited edition so, so right anyway next 1960s 1960s um, again, this is a. It's yeah. going to get a smile on your face. Yeah, this is a very exciting one. Um, so, <laughs> this is a model that gets stems back to uh, the 1960s. I was going to talk about the 1960s decade, um, and it's one I think actually a lot of people will be quite surprised to see Hornby remake. Actually, um, it's Stevenson's Rocket. Um, now, the original model of this was released in 1963. Um, it had a rerun in the 1980s, uh, but the original tooling for that no longer exists, unfortunately. Um, but for Hornby's centenary year, they decided to make a brand new version of Stevenson's rocket. Um, it is DCC ready. Um, it's got a motor in the locomotive. Uh, and in the pack, you get the locomotive with its tender, you get a crew, and you get three coaches as well. Uh, and the centenary range version, uh, that comes in a Triang Railway style presentation box as well. Um, and I've got to say, I have already put my order in <coughs> with Hornby for one of those because um, that's going to be again a really nice limited edition product. Um, there's only 1500 of those have been released in that style with the Trying Railways box. Um, we will come back to Rocket later on in the Steam section as well because there is another standard version of it being produced as well. Um, the difference being that actually the uh, Centenary Edition, like I say, it's got the unique packaging, it's also got different coach names with it as well. Um, so it is a unique product that comes in the Centenary range. And we, of course, got a chance to see that when we went down to Hornby. Yes. And uh, I'll, I'll hopefully throw up a photo of uh, the photo yes, you took of Rocket. Yeah, we've got plenty of photos. Yep. I, I promise I did leave the model there as well. I didn't bring it back with me. So. What I was most surprised about, actually, is um, A, how soon it's coming out. Since mm -hmm. February yep. is due. Yep. And its price is 189.99. So yes, yeah. I thought for a sort of limited edition train pack, that's actually really good value. That's right. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Value-wise, I think it's really good. I mean, you're getting a whole train for the price of a Duchess. For example, I suppose, um, of course, once it's been through the shops, I'm sure that the RRP will come down yes, when yeah, the competition right. hits. But yeah, that's right, yeah. I yeah. should also mention on the, on the price side as well. I mean, the, the prices were being given by Hornby, some of these may be subject to change as well. So it's not verbatim that our prices we're quoting here are definitely accurate across the board. Um, I know there's a couple later on which we're going to have to skip over the prices because they have been changed. So good job we're not directly selling them so exactly, yeah. don't so, sue yeah. us so yeah so just double check with the hornby website if you want to be yeah. firm on the prices and also check out your local hornby retailer as well because they're bound to be doing some offers on these things so. yep right on to 1970s yes 1970s um again another important model both in railway history and hornby's history actually as well um so uh, this was um the last locomotive to be produced by Triang and it was also the last steam locomotive to be built by British Railways as well and it's it's obviously 92220 yep. Evening Star. So also with uh, Evening Star you also get a special plaque as well to mark the anniversary of the locomotive's constru construction because 2020 marks 60 years since Evening Star was completed at Swindon Works in 1960. And of course that's due out in July yes. with a RRP of 149.99. Yep, that's so right. Again, not too bad, really. It's sort of bang on the money, really. Yeah, that's right, yeah. No, again, that's another really nice collectible product there. I mean, the, the fact you've got the, the, the period styled packaging, um, you know, it's referencing the fact it's the last steam locomotive to be built, built by British Railways. Uh, you've got the plaque in there as well. They're all nice things that make this a little bit more than just a loco in a box. I, th I think they've hit the nail on the head with this one, to be honest. So, well, you can't go wrong with an INF, can you? No. So, okay. so, moving on to the 1980s, yep. we have an absolute Hornby classic. Yeah, yeah, family favourite. I think I can't imagine there's many people who haven't owned one of these locos at some point in their life. Um, I had a Caledonian Railway blue one as, as a kid, um, which has already given the game away here. Um, and it's, it's Smokey Joe, the Hornby Caledonian Railway. Joe. Yeah, the, the Caledonian Railway 040 pug that has been, well, it's not been out of the Hornby range since it was first introduced in 1983. <laughs> so that's, that'll be 37 years in 2020 that model's been in the catalogue. If there's ever an argument for something needing new tooling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's interesting actually, because uh, when um, at one point, during the Loco's life, um, Sam Coe was talking to us about this in the presentation. He was explaining how he was bit, he'd been asked to produce a steam locomotive for under ten pounds, um, and part of that was to take Smoky Joe and to remove all the parts that made it more expensive and strip it right down. Um, so it, it was a, a model that could be put in a, a, at a price point, um, a sort of a very early version of railroad, I suppose, in a way. Um, but the interesting thing with this version of Smoky Joe is that he's brought all the detailed parts back to this model. So the, the Smoky Joe is now 
fully finished as it was supposed to be when they first introduced it. Um, it's got the classic Smokey Joe logos on the side of it. It's got the BR56025 numbers on the side. Um, it looks like it's going to be another really nice nice little model to add to the collection there. And it's only 39.99. It is, it's only 40 quid. So and, yep, and it comes in that also that classic 1980s blue belt packaging of Hornby's as well. And the box actually, we've seen the box at the presentation um, and actually the box is exactly like those 1980s boxes as well. I mean, I remember again, I'm going to sound like a bit of a weirdo. I remember some of these boxes being around. You know, it's like I remember the Hornby Double O packaging. I remember, you know, this as well. It's really nice classic packaging. I don't. You'll be glad to know. <laughs> <laughs> Show me up. <laughs> I did think when um, they showed us first Smokey Joe, I think, why is Smokey Joe in this collection? But they've, I think they've nailed it again. Yeah, yeah. By right, adding yeah, all yeah, the yeah, detail yeah, to it. That's to right. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, in I terms of want the, one. Yeah, those details, I mean, we've got um, the handrails are back. Um, the smoke box handrails are back. It's also got the smoke box door dart. Um, all, all those things that have been missing from Loco, they're back. So, so like I say, 37 years in the, in the range as well. So if that's... there's ever a Loco that needs a sound chip yes. as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure we could find a way. Yeah. But, so, yeah. And of course, that's due out in June. That's right, yeah, June. Yeah. 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 So going into the 1990s, yep. we have, of course, the Hornby Terrier. Yep. This is getting much more close to your era now as well, of, of remembering Hornby, isn't it? So, yep. Yeah. It's, uh, and it's not just... Any Terrier, they've chosen, um, well, they've chosen the Stroudly Improved Engine Green colour for it, the classic Terrier colour, uh, and they've chosen the name Merton, uh, and Merton was where the original factory for Triang Trains was. Um, and for this 1990s period product, again, we've got period packaging for it, um, so it's in Hornby's um, red box with the double yellow stripes on it each end, and it's got the Top Link logo on it as well, which is a brand that Hornby introduced during, during the 1990s. Um, and this one's it's £104.99 for this one and it's due in July. So. And I suppose there's only going to be uh, a thousand of them. That's right, yeah. So the Terrier itself is already collectible. Yes. So I think there's going to be a, quite a rush on this one because yes. yeah, that's to definitely. add it to the collection. That's right. And uh, well, um, the Terrier as well, we should mention, it is Hornby's brand new version of the Terrier. Yeah. We're, not, we're not talking about the 1990s model here, it's the brand new Terrier. Uh, and this one's actually one of the uh, uh, A1Xs, I think, by the look of it as well. So. Nice. Yeah. Let's move on. Right, so next we're moving forward to the 2000s, to the millennium. It's uh, an, a massive turning point in Hornby Hobbies history, um, especially in terms of its double O gauge product range. And actually, this model really is responsible for what we have now, directly. It's, uh, um, and actually, it was also a turning point for me. I mean, I, up until the year 2000, 2001, I was modeling an N gauge. Um, and then when this model came on the scene, it's like, no, it's time to change and go back up to double O gauge. Um, so this is uh, Hornby's rebuilt Merchant Navy as Clanline, um, which was originally launched in 2000 at Stewart's Lane Depot. Um, and this model was, well, it was unlike anything Hornby was doing at the time. Um, so Hornby models of that era, at sort of the end of the 1990s, we were looking at sort of tender drive for steam locomotives. The detail was perhaps lacking in some cases. Clanline reversed all that. You know, now we had locomotive drive. We had stunning detail. Um, you know, it was a, a proper modeler's model. It was designed for that yeah. purpose. So, um, so yeah, so the um, the Centenary product line model, um, that's going to be uh, in special presentation pack based on the original box of uh, that clan line model as well. I've actually got one of the original ones upstairs in the loft. Um, and it will be limited to 1,000 units. It's going to have 18 karat gold plating to all the metal parts of the loco. So uh, the wheel treads, uh, the valve gear, um, handles, handrails and all those kind of things. Um, and uh, there were, did I say there's a thousand of them? Thousand of them, and yep. two hundred and twenty-four ninety-nine is the that's RRB. Right, yep. 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 Um, and that's due, of course, in August. That's right. Yep. Um, yep. Now, an interesting point to make on um, the locos, which are uh, gold-plated. Yep. Do you run them or don't you run them? Because it is runnable. It is runnable. But you <laughs> take the gold off. Yeah, I think I'd, I think I'd, if I bought that, I'd, I would keep that in its box. Or not not in its box. But it actually comes with a display plinth as well, which has got gold-plated yeah. track on it as well. Um, so that's another nice little addition to that. So um, I think for me, if I was going to run clan line, I've got one without gold upstairs. I'd bring that back downstairs. Yeah. So. <laughs> but extremely collectible. Yes, definitely very collectible. This. That's, uh, yeah, excellent. All right. Next one, 2010s. 2010. Right, in your era. We've, well, we've, we've yeah. seen a terrier. Yep. So it's only right, only fitting that Hornby do a pecket. Yeah, and uh, yeah, well, it's the Peckett W4, so it's the 040 saddle tank, um, which uh, I think a lot of people would agree was, uh, again, another turning point for Hornby in, in recent history. I think the first one was released at the end of 2016, I think it was. Um, and Hornby producing a brand new high detail industrial locomotive, I think up until the point where that model was announced, was an unthinkable prospect. 
Um, but ever since then, it's been a, an absolute flyer when it goes on sale all the time. It's always it sells through. Um, we've got more versions we're going to talk about later in this in this presentation yeah. as well. Um, so anyway, coming back to the point, uh, this one for the Centenary range, it's going to be in um, photographic grey, which is quite a nice little tweak on the on the livery side of things, um, as 614. Um, it's um, limited to 2,000 units. Um, it comes with period packaging, so the period packaging we're used to at this point in time. Um, and it also comes with a Peckett and Sons Engineers Bristol um, builder's plate in there as well. So it's a nice, nice little package again. RRP of 109.99. Yep. I presume it'll match the others by the time it hits the shelves. Um, yes. By the yeah. time this competition has had it, and yep. but that's due in September, so quite a late yep. release that one. Yep. Yep. So. Um, yeah, I mean, they've tried to stagger these 2020 oh, products yeah. through the year. I mean, partly I, I think they're thinking about the collection. There's you know, not enough overtime, yeah. to be honest. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm, I need to do some. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, another nice addition to the product line there. So It's nice that they've done uh, 2,000 as opposed to 500 or 1,000. Yes. Especially with something so popular, because as yes. you say, the yeah. packets fly. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Right, and then on to 2020, uh, and this is another interesting addition to the lineup as well. Um, it uses their brand new Princess tooling, um, but it's recreating a train set. I think uh, the older generation will certainly be well aware of this. In, 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 I think it was the 1960s, uh, Rovex produced a train set with a black princess in it. Um, I can't remember the exact story off the top of my head, um, but it's, it's, it's recreating that original train set from the 1960s. Uh, and it comes in a uh, period artwork for the box as well. Uh, and you get the princess in there, uh, two LMS coaches. It's limited to a thousand units. Um, and uh, yeah, like, like all the other products, again, it's got limited edition certificate with it. You get circuit track and there's an analog controller in there as well. So it's actually a really nice set. Yeah. Due in October and an RRP of 249.99. Yeah, so that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, quite a nice addition. Yeah, again, like I say, it's got a really good, strong historical connection back into Hornby's history there as well. That's, uh, Excellent. So that brings us to the end of the 2020 Centenary product lines. Um, apart from a couple of little additions, actually, we should mention these as well. We should. Um, just very briefly, um, for those who want a, a cheaper collectible item to mark Hornby Centenary, they're doing a, a Centenary mug, they're doing a Centenary pen, and they're also doing a Centenary pin badge as well. So little mementos of the Hornby Centenary year. So. With Hornby's new Centenary logo. Yes, that's right, yeah, with the Centenary yeah. logo on each of those, yeah. Yeah. So I think that'll be very collectible. Yes, definitely, yeah. I'd, I'd quite like a mug, even though I don't drink tea or coffee. So. <laughs> Still want one. <laughs> I'd like a tea or coffee, to be honest. But. Yeah, well, you know where they are. <laughs> so the last thing in the Centenary collection um, is something that you're slightly responsible for. Uh, yeah, I've been involved with this one. Um, it's, it's print media, so I'm, I'm there. Um, we've got a... A brand new version of the Hornby Book of Trains, which has been authored by Pat Hammond. Uh, this is a brand new product. It's written from scratch by Pat, who is, is, is a renowned Hornby histori historian. Um, we've got 488 pages, 800 images. Um, I was going to say, how do you fit all them images in? Uh, you have a lot of pages. Um, and I can tell you from having been through the copy as well, the, the original manuscript for this was 85,000 words. This is a massive, massive book. Um, it's going all the way through Hornby's history from 1920 to the present day, looking at the railway side of the business. Um, and it's explaining the, the highlights of the new editions throughout each year, each year and each decade. Um, there's some really brilliant artwork in there as well. Some really nice um, artwork from the covers of catalogues and things as well. Um, it's going to be a really nice product. Uh, so that's going to be uh, £24.99 when it goes on sale. Um, the initial production run is 2,000 units. Um, again, it's, it's going to be a again, really good collectible item for, for people to have. So. I suppose it's not only a nice, what well, is the history mm. of Hornby, but it's also um, a very nice complementary item to any of the collection. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I mean, it, well, it's going to put into context any of the, the products we've just talked about yeah. in, in the centenary range. You'll be able to start reading through this. You'll find where they all fit into the story as well. Um, yeah, it, great book. Wonderful. So that's the centenary range. Yep, centenary range done. I mean, that's only the tip of the iceberg. But It is very much so, yeah. Um, if you stay with us, we'll move on from that to uh, the main range. Yeah. Yes, excellent. Stay with us. And uh, whilst we talk about that kind of 
the area, I think that should be just pushed straight on into railroad, actually. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so railroad, as I think many people know, is, is, is a really good starting point for people. It's a cheaper line of products, um, which help you to build up from your train set. So rather than having to go straight in from buying a train set at £159.99 and having to buy a local on its own at nearly £200 mm -hmm. in some cases, um, it gives you an opportunity to buy something that's a, a, a lower price and fits in. So, um, well, Hornby actually this year, though, they've, they've moved things on again a bit with Railroad. We're introducing Railroad Plus. Railroad Plus? Yeah. Uh, so Railroad Plus, what does that mean? It means that the, the models, the base models that they're using are still the same, but they're enhancing the artwork on those locomotives. So they've got a lot more detail in the, in the liveries. And it's one of the things that I think people were probably quite aware was missing from some of the railroad products with some of the finer details of the livery. Uh, things like camp rail lining, nameplates, um, some of the logos are sometimes missing. You might not have had electrification warning flashes on a locomotive, something like that. Um, all that has been brought in on the Railroad Plus models. As a, I suppose, a livery application rather than a standalone, but... It, yes, yeah, that's right, yeah. As they say, if it looks right on the layout, yeah. people will accept a cheaper model. That's right, yeah. and actually, I mean, the logos we're going to talk about if you wanted to make these more detailed, there is a huge range of aftermarket parts available, yep. like X-Brass radiator grills, you can get um, extra buffer beam detail parts, you can take the couplings off, because they've all got NEM coupling pockets on them now anyway. Um, so there's lots you can do with these models. So you're not just stuck with going, well, you know, it's, it's not as detailed, but it's got a nice livery on it. You go, well, actually, it's not as detailed, but I can add to this. I can make it better and start doing some modeling as well. So. So, anyway, let's skip to the good bit. Let's quickly so, run through the range because yep. the audience are on the edge of their seats yep. now or on the good so, stuff. Yep. So, I'll go on, you take this one, Richard. So, the first one is a GBRF Class 47, the Edinburgh Castle. Um, this is, of course, era 11. Um, this is due in September 2020 with an RP of 7499. Yep. And this, this one's got X nameplates with it as well. Oh. So, it's another nice little, little addition. Uh, another GBF Class 47, uh, the 47739. Um, same price and same release date. That's right, yeah, and it's in that, uh, the, the bold plain blue livery with GBRF lettering on it, which you can probably see on the screen right now. So. Then, of course, another 47, the City of Chura. They're really going to town with the 47s this yeah, year. Yeah, and GBRF as well. Yep, so. again. Yep. Same uh, release date, same price. Yep. Slightly different, I thought, into the Railroad Plus range yep. was the Class 73. Yep. Um, again, GBRF. Yep. This is uh, Jeanette. Um, and this is sixty nine ninety nine, so I thought yep. absolutely fantastic price, really. Yeah, that's right, definitely. Yeah. And, and they've, they've numbered it as seventy three nine six four, which is one of the ones that now I believe, I believe has actually been rebuilt. But it, I don't think it'll have the correct lighting clusters on the front of it to actually model seventy three nine six four as it is now. Um, but again, it's a base model; you can add to it, you can amend it yourself as well, and put those details on. So, so. then of course we've got the Eversa Classic yep. Class twenty yep. um, slash nine. This one yep. again in GBRF. Yep. Uh, Colours, so again, era 10, this yep. one, um, an RRP of 69.99, so they're really smashing these bargains out. That's right, yeah. And of course, all these so far have been Railroad Plus, so the livery that's should right. be absolutely on point. Yep, that's right. This one has a September release date. Yep. So they're bringing back the Network Rail Class 37, the John Tilly. Um, this one will be 79.99 and is due in September. Um, this was extremely popular, I believe. They ran out of stock, uh, oh, well, the yeah. first run. Yeah, the first run they did was the first... TTS class 30. Yeah. Um, I can't remember which number it was, but it was a different number to this one, so they will be two different logos. Yeah. So if you've already got one net rail, network rail class 37 or class 97, as you should really know, um, there is now going to be a second option as well, so you can expand on that. So. With etched nameplates. With etched <laughs> nameplates again, yeah. So everyone needs a 9F. Now, this, this uh, did make me laugh. Because it's Railroad Plus, it has a better livery application. So how you can do that to a black loco Simon Kohler himself promised there is a difference there. I, I can tell you a difference <laughs> straight away. Oh, go on, go uh, on. You know the secret. There's, there's, there's two prime differences I can see. One is that it's going to have electrification warning flashes on it, which we're always missing from the, the standard railroad versions. And the other thing is that rather than just having a loco number on the cab sides, it's also got the 9F classification of it as well. Oh. So. Uh, so there's extra little, small details. I mean, the BR black livery at the end of the day, it's as simple as liveries come, really. Uh, but there are little subtle things that make a difference between the base and improving it. So. Of course, slightly more expensive than the uh, previous diesels. Yep. Uh, it's 109.99 RRP yep. and due in October. That's right. Yep. That's, uh, I should also mention that all of those, they've all got eight pin decoder sockets in them as well. So they're all DCC ready as well. So, I mean, that's the Railroad Plus range. I mean, they're definitely going to town with it. They're yes. trying to definitely get into that sort of lower end of the market. 
yeah, I mean, try and yeah. encourage new people in. And that's right. I mean, railroads already always been there doing that. Uh, I, I find it actually really quite interesting how they've moved this on with the railroad plus concept and actually adding that extra decoration, which I think people have probably found has been missing. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see how those go down as well. It'd be interesting to see how that range develops over time as well, yeah. Yeah. because in really it's limitless. That's right. Yeah. So now we're jumping onto train packs and sets, and Hornby haven't disappointed. No, definitely not. When the, the Hornby train set is an important part of the range. It's where we all started. That's right, yeah. yeah. Hornby are starting the train sets slash packs with a lovely new liveried Eurostar, yes. which is actually going to be in the Beatles um, right, fashion. Yeah. Yeah. They're bringing out a train set and a train pack for this one, and coach packs, yeah, but we'll go on to that later on. Yeah. Um, the train set itself is 139.99. Um, it's due out in May, and features two coaches and the two driving units, That's and right. of course the usual set of track, controller, etc. Um, and it's covered in the uh, yellow submarine. Yeah, it's got the yellow submarine logos on, on one side of the packaging, and you've got some um, Beatles-style characters on the right-hand side as well. It's all, again, classic 1960s Beatles-style artwork that's with this. Uh, and one of the interesting things I want to mention about this is that the, the whole length of this Eurostar set was 18 coaches, which I believe is all decorated in different scenes uh, to do with the Beatles and the yellow submarine. I think it was a, a, a TV programme as well that had been done yeah. on the yellow submarine. Um, but obviously Hornby hasn't got 18 coaches of Eurostar to put that on. Um, so they've been able to replicate 12 of those coaches, um, through manipulation of the artwork to fit in with the vehicles they've got. Um, so it's different artwork on different sides of the coach and things like that as well. So it gives you a lot more of the artwork in a much shorter space. Um, it's officially licensed by Apple that owns the Beatles li license as well. So. And of course the train pack is available, which is £109.99. That's right, yep. Due in July, so yep. you don't, if you're... Um You've already got a model railway, you don't need the track and controller and That's stuff. Right. Yeah, cause it's the same train in both the train yeah. set and the train pack. Yeah. And what's great about the, the I suppose, the Beatles range is the notes we have literally just say bold and intriguing. Yes, bold and intriguing livery, and the it, exact It's word, definitely yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, is, it is a fantastic livery. I mean, it, you put this on your layout, it's going to stand out. There's oh, nothing yeah. that's going to beat this in terms of its presentation. So, I, uh, I oddly think it's going to be uh, popular because it's so unique. Yes, People yeah. do seem to like a good livery. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I mean, well, it's like the, uh, the Hitachi 800 when they did the uh, test train pack. Um, I mean, there's some quite clever work went into doing the artwork for that as well. I mean, the, the, the artwork on this, I mean, the, the, the factories are going to make these things. And even the designers at Hornby who've had to create the artwork for this to send to the factory. You know, th it's, it's some fantastic work that's gone into this. Yeah. So, yeah, exciting. I'm looking forward to one. Yeah. So, uh, you're going to get one for your layout? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> So where would Hornby be without a Flying Scotsman train set? Yes, well, it, it wouldn't work, would it? So obviously we've got a, a classic Flying Scotsman train set in this year as well, and that's in a new packaging as well. Um, and you get in that, it's the Railroad Flying Scotsman plus uh, a pair of T coaches, uh, the circuit track and analog controller. Uh, and there's also another uh, train set which is joining the range as well. We've got a new GWR freight set as well, which has got their um, classic 2721060 pannier tank with the open cab. Uh, you get uh, an open wagon, uh, a crane and a four-wheel carriage and a breakdown. So yeah, quite a nice couple of sets there. Um, they're both, uh, well, the GVR freight set's due in June 2020 at £109.99, and the Flying Scotsman. As is the Flying Scotsman. Yeah, same time of year, but it's £159.99 for the Flying Scotsman set, so. Yeah. They make really nice sets, to yes. be fair. Yeah, that's right, definitely, yeah. Right, we're gonna move on to train packs, um, and the first one we're gonna talk about is um, the Abedonian train pack, which features 60163 Tornado in British Railways lined Apple Green livery, uh, and a trio of Mark 1 coaches in there as well. They're the new Mark 1s as well. They are the new Mark 1s, and importantly to my eyes, um, being a bit of a bogey fanatic, is they've got B4 bogeys on all the coaches as well. Uh, and Hornby's, by the look of the artwork as well as going to town with those, they're, they're, they're picking out the springs in red as well, so they're nicely, nicely detailed bogeys as well. See, I'm really looking forward to this. This is on my wish list. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah, it'll be a nice addition, that one. It's, uh, you know, Tornado is an incredibly popular locomotive, perfect for modern era layouts yeah. as well, because this is how I believe the local is currently running. So. You can run it on so many layouts, modern image, heritage lines, yeah. that kind of thing. That's right, yeah. yeah. Um, and of course, due in October and with an RRP of 199.99. That's right, yeah. So, 
Okay, skipping forward, uh, we talked about Rocket already. Um, I'm gonna talk about Rocket again now. Um, so they're producing a standard, what we would term a standard version of the Rocket train pack to go in the main range as well. Uh, so it's slightly cheaper than the um, Triang Special Edition to go in the uh, Collect Centenary Edition. And it's, uh, like I said about that before, it's Stevenson's Rocket with its tender and it's got three differently named coaches with it in this version. So, so this version has, is in effect the same yep. without the limited edition packaging yep. with different named coaches to the special exactly edition. Right, yeah. And it's £10 cheaper. £10 right. cheaper, £179.99. Yeah. Uh, again, due in February. So right, yeah. actually yeah. quite a... quite a Due very soon, yeah. 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 Um, so when you're watching this, it'll be a month away. So <laughs> That's right, yeah. It's, uh... Right, so probably one of my top items of yes. the uh, Hornby catalogue is another um, Hitachi Class 800. That's right, yeah. Uh, another Azuma. Um, of course, in LNER. Yep. Now, people may be slightly confused because the first one hasn't been released yet. That's right. Because yeah. Hornby have had a slight few factory issues, which is yep. understandable. Yep. yep. Um, so you're getting one in uh, June. Yeah, and that's the last the, one in June. Yeah, that's the one from the 2019 range. And this one in September. Yep. Um, now, what's different about this one? All right, so the difference with this one is the, the first one they're doing is what I would refer to as the standard LNER Azuma livery. Uh, and this one is with uh, the Celebrating Scotland logos on the side of it as well. So it's 800-104, this one. See, I think they actually look the business, so I yeah. can't wait to yeah. finally get my hands yeah. on one. And now you can have two. You can run them as you can a have pair. two in one go. So I was at Peterborough Station <coughs> the other night, and there was a pair of five cars came thundering through, so that's, they look pretty good. So. And now, luckily, because it's slightly later in the year, it gives me plenty of time to get the overtime in. So... Yeah. Um, again, this one has an RRP of three hundred and ninety-four ninety-nine, yep. and as I say, the second one, the new one, is due yep. in September. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Moving on. Moving on. Another uh, wow. Yeah. Another wow. Yeah. That's, uh, I'm quite excited about this because I've 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 had one of these for back years. off. It's mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, in the original livery, and it's been sat in the loft, and then we brought it out to run West Coast Cement. So I'm, I'm starting to give the game away here. Um, so it's it's the Pendolino unit, uh, but it's the Pendolino unit in the brand new Avanti West Coast colour scheme, um, which looks really rather fabulous. Actually, it really does. So, yeah. I think we're seeing here Hornby sort of flexing their muscles of what they're actually capable of and yeah. the context they have. Contacts they have. That's right, and they, they do have to work very closely with the with the train operators to get these liveries and to get them right. You know, it's not just a stab in the dark of drawing some box on the side of the train. They go and speak to the operators and, and yep. get the information they need. So Simon Kohler was telling me actually that they on that they had permission a month before Avanti went public with delivery. Right, yeah. yeah. So That's that just right, shows yeah. the sort of close relationships they have. That's right. Yeah. That's, uh, so this this is a four car train pack they're doing initially, uh, which will be released in December 2020. And with a price point of £249.99. Christmas um, present. Yeah, Christmas present for, for next Christmas, yeah. Um, and uh, I will mention this now, but we'll come on to them later on as well, we'll probably mention, but they are doing a set of extra coaches as well to expand the train as well. So you will be able to put together a full nine yeah. car Pendolino in Avanti West Coast living this year. That's going to be exciting. Yes. That's definitely yeah. one on the wish and list. They do look great as nine car units. I mean, our, our nine car unit on West Coast Cement, I've been unbelievably impressed by that unit. Um, cause I think a few people probably doubted the Pendolino and its haulage capability yeah. and stuff. But when we have it, it, it runs hour after hour around West Coast Cement with a full nine coach train on it. And, uh, and it looks great as well. So. Okay. Right. <coughs> right. <coughs> Moving on to something which is probably going to uh, pique the interest of a lot of people. I, this is a proper wow model, this is. People have uh, just fallen off their chairs at home. Yeah, I, I nearly fell off my chair when they told us about this. So. Well, they're about so, to, I should yeah, say. Yeah, they're about to, yeah. <coughs> um, so um, this is another, actually, it's a classic Hornby product which had been remade, brand new tooling, brand new Hornby's tooling. Completely brand new yep. Hornby tooling. Yep, and it's the, uh, the APT, uh, the Class 370 APT Advanced Passenger Train, um, which Hornby is doing um, all by itself. It's got nothing to do with anything else that's happened before. Uh, they're offering it in five car form, seven car form. They're doing extra add-on coach sets for it as well. Uh, they're doing one of the test vehicles. They're doing an extra driving um, a power car for it as well. Um, this, this is going to set the world on fire when it comes out. It's, uh, and it's going to tilt, by the way, just, just to drop that in there. So. Yeah. So, um, so I'm, I'm not going to quote the prices on these because I know the prices are being revised over what we were told at this point. So, but it will come back to those at some point. Keep an eye on the magazine. We'll keep you up to date with any, any news on this as well. Um, it's currently in the CAD drawing stage, I believe, or, or in the tooling, early stage of tooling process. So we haven't actually seen a sample of this yet, whereas some of the other things later on we have. Um, but yeah, really exciting project, this one. I'm excited. Yes. Um, 
And it's again, it's due December. Yeah, December 2020 is when it's currently scheduled so to come out. Yeah. December, Christmas 2020 is going to be an expensive one. It is, yeah. Right. <laughs> Especially if you want to model West Coast tilting trains. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to have to pair Christmas next year. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So, uh, so this, this initial train pack we're talking about, um, like I said, there's a five car pack um, and then there's a seven car pack as well. Uh, and they've both got different numbered sets. So the five car pack is 370003 and 370004 and the seven car pack is 370001 and 370002. And a couple of zillion coaches for those that understand them, but we'll come yes. on to those yes. shortly. Yes, definitely. Okay, right, next. Okay, so we're gonna look at multiple <coughs> unit train packs next. Yeah. Um, so this is, it's, again, it's a pretty nice collection of stuff in here, actually. Lots HSTs. HSTs, which is already excited. Um, so, oh well, as you like HSTs, so much, off you go. We've got another, uh, obviously, Scott Rail HST, as you can see on the screen. This is 43021. And 43132. Yeah, and this is in the Scott Rail Intercity 7 livery, yeah. uh, which we first saw just a few months ago, actually. One, one came in for, for review and it's been out in the market. They've been very popular, so Hornby's doing a second one in 2020. So. They hold their RRP at 289.99 and it's due in September. That's right, yeah. And hopefully by then we'll see the first coaches out as well for them. Yeah, the, the sliding door coaches, which should go with those there, we, we saw. Um, engineering sample those during the preview as well. Uh, they are on their way. Again, they've been a little bit delayed from what Hornby originally planned, but they are making progress through the through, through the uh, through that development cycle, so they won't be far away. Next, we've got another uh, GWR uh, HST set, the Sir Kenneth Grange 43002 and 43198 yep. in the Great Western Railway's green. That's right, and this is the pair that holds, uh, I think I'm right in saying, the last Great Western operated uh, HST service from London Paddington back in, was it May this year when that happened? Yeah. Um, and it's it, it, Sir Kenneth Grange, that's in original BR Intercity 125 livery, uh, and 43199, that's in the, the, the modern day GBR green livery. So. And of course, the same price, 289.99, but this is due in May though, so a bit sooner, that's actually. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's something I quite like as well. I also wonder if they'll uh, redo that for the uh, last farewell HST as well. It'd be nice to see that. that yeah. if, if that was going to happen, it would be a 2021 thing, but we, we don't know anything yet. So. Or a summer announcement, you never summer know. Be. know yeah. A bit of speculation. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> if it's true in the future. Yeah. <laughs> right, so next we have the good old swallow liveried HSTs. Yep. This one's 43123 and 43065, City of Edinburgh. Yeah. Um, and an important point on these, because uh, I haven't seen many of them done like this, they're both buffer-fitted HST power cars as well, so the ones that were, were modified to, I think, originally to be DVTs with the Class 91s when they first came in on the East Coast Main Line. Um, so I don't think we've seen a pair of buffer-fitted ones together in a train, in a HST pack for Apart a from time. the Grand Central set. That's right, the Grand Central, I believe, was the only one, actually. Yeah. So, because I have that set, that's how I know that. Yes, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there have been somewhere there'd been a single one in there with, with buffer-fitted on it, but... Not pairs. Yeah. Apart from the Grand Central one. Yeah. So, so very nice. And finally, uh, that's due in November. Yep. Same sure. price. Yep. Um, and then finally, uh, of the Class 43s, we have more um, network rail leverage stuff. stuff. This is the Mark Kahn CBE, um, 43013 and 43014 at the Railway Observer. Um, it's good to see these back in the range. I think we're going to see um, an influx of network rail stock. Yes on Again, this yeah, uh, you'll, announcement. You'll, yeah, you'll see later on in, in the carriage yeah. section as well, there's lots of good bright yellow network rail stock coming up for 2020. So. Everyone needs a good banana train on their layout. Yeah, definitely. So that's the end of the multiple unit train packs for this catalogue, and I think it's time to move on to steam locos. Yes, definitely, yeah. Yeah, let's move on to the steam engines. what section we've come on to now because uh, Mike has a big smile on your face. <laughs> Exciting things. So this year we're going to talk about steam locomotives now. Um, and this year actually Hornby's got some really exciting things this year. Um, some things that I've been really holding out and hoping for at some point in my lifetime. I'm sure a lot of other people will have been as well. Um, and top of the list for me and why we're going to lead on this one quite frankly is the LNER W1464. It's the only 464 steam locomotive uh, tender engine to run on British Railways. Um, now this is a, a really, it's, this is a big project for Hornby because there was only one of it. Um, it was originally built in 1929 uh, with an experimental high pressure boiler. Um, and it was then rebuilt in the 1930s to look like a Gresley A4, uh, but it kept the um, 464 wheel arrangement. 
it then once it had been rebuilt it had a conventional boiler as well um, and Hornby's doing both versions as well so wow. you, you could own the Hush Hush in its original experimental form and you can own the Hush Hush in well when it was no longer a Hush Hush as then a W1 as uh, 10,000 in LNER Garter Blue and you can own it as 60700 in BR Line Green as well um, so they're, they're doing the full family of, of the foot of the hush hush logo really going to town on this that's right yeah uh, there's also a couple of special editions in there as well so uh, the, the the kind of the standard version if you like that's that's uh, r3840 uh, and that models um 10,000 as in its high pressure form in its original livery um which i believe is gray uh, then doing it um as r3841 uh, with the uh, British Enterprise nameplates which were allocated to it but never carried by the locomotive. There's also then a third version of it uh, which is going to be done in LNER lined up or green which the Hush Hush never carried in, in that, oh. that era. Um, so again, be st uh, quite interesting because I've seen this done in the German market. They've done things that should been, have, have never been produced in the real world but they've been made in model form and they sold through very well. So, But they were so. penned to be that? I, I think so. I don't know enough about the, the Hush Hush off the top of my head to, to answer that but so I think it probably would have been yeah. at some point if it stays a Hush Hush. Uh, next then, uh, they're also doing, um, like I said, they're doing the rebuilt locos as well and you can get 10,000 in LNER Garter Blue with valances. Uh, and that's R83843. Uh, and then there's also, they're doing 60700, so when it had been moved into the British Railways um, nationalisation era, and that's without valances. Um, and that's uh, R83844. Um, and the, uh, all those locos are £199.99 each. And due in December 2020. Due so December 2020, yeah. A really expensive Christmas if you like modern image and, and Steam, yes. Uh, yes. Steam, yeah. Yes. Uh, and they have already got, we saw um, the uh, first 3D stereo printed samples of, of the bodywork for these as well. Um, we'll put some of those images up with, yeah. the, with the video as well so you can see those. Yeah. And they're looking impressive. They're quite a big engine. To oh, it, is, it is a very yeah. big engine, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the Hush Hush, especially in its original form, that's a big bulky engine. It really filled the loading gauge out. It's, uh, I mean, I'm interested to get behind on one of these. So. It's, uh, any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the rest of the steam engines, yep. trying to contain your excitement. Yes. What have we got next? Right, well, some more exciting new tool things to tell you about in a moment. But first, we're going to go through some new liveries as well. Uh, so uh, the, the new Terrier. Uh, that will be released in during 2019. We've got some new liveries on that. We've got uh, an LSWR green one. Uh, we've got another um, Australia improved engine green one as number 40 Brighton. Uh, we've got a Isle of Wight one as number 14 Benbridge in the southern region olive green. And actually a rather nice one. I'm quite intrigued by this one as well. We've got a, a British Railways one in, uh, I think it's an early experimental line green livery for British Railways. A um, bit of a cross between the Southern Railway um, final body delivery and the British Railways period, so, uh, and that's as number 13, carries work another Isle of Wight loco as well, so, um, they're all uh, priced at £94.99 90, £94 each, uh, and Hornby again is offering those with uh, a decoder pre-fitted as well from the factory for £114.99 each, uh, and they're due during the summer for 2020. Um, so whizzing forward, uh, we've got uh, the, the fabulous Peckett B2, the new 060 saddle tank which arrived uh, this year. A great little loco, you've seen some videos probably on our YouTube page and also if you go to our Facebook page uh, you'll find a video from the end of December yep. where we had a, a monster train behind our <laughs> Peckett sample. Um, it's it's really what happens when you leave me alone with the uh, top of the layout. Yeah, it's like, yeah, all kinds of things happen then. Uh, so, but this, this, these little locos are really powerful. It didn't uh, actually struggle? No. No, which was so quite scary. I yeah. need to dig out some more wagons. Yeah, well, we can find some more. Uh, so, but it's, yeah. Anyway, so we've got, uh, there's a couple of new liveries on that. So we've got a Bloxham and Whitston Ironstone Company livered one. And we've got uh, an NCB green one as well. Uh, they're both due in around the early autumn for £109.99. Right, so moving down to the uh, 040 packet saddle tanks, we've got uh, two new ones coming this year. We've got Dowlay's Ironworks one as Lady Cornelia. And we've got a uh, Crawshaw Brothers one uh, in green as well. Uh, they're both due around December 2020 uh, for £99.99 .99 each. Um, for Southern Region uh, fans, we've got uh, an H class in Southern Railway Black as 1552. Um, that's actually due in January. Which that is due in January, yeah. That's, uh, and 130 quid. So. Yeah. So, um, right, moving forward again. Um, this is an interesting one as well. We've, we've not actually seen the first of the Princess Royals yet, but they've got some new versions already planned into the 2020 range as well. Uh, and one of the interesting notes to note with these as well is they are going to have a firebox flicker as well. Yeah. Um, I wonder if that's going to set a precedent going forward. I hope so, because I mean, it's something quite a few other manufacturers start to do is put firebox flicker into their steam locos as well. So it'd be nice to see Hornby do that kind of electronic... Raising the bar again. Yeah, electronic things that move things forward again. So, it's, uh, uh, so that'd be an interesting addition. An absolute beast of a loco. Massive. Yeah, big big locos, yeah. I mean, the forerunner of the, of the Duchess and the Princess Coronations, and yeah, yeah, really nice proportioned locos. Stanier's at his best, really, in my view. Yeah. 
So. And of course, 189.99 or DCC factory fitted yep. for 209.99 RPs. Right, yeah. right, and we've got uh, 6212 Duchess of Kent in LMS uh, lined crimson livery. Uh, we've got 46211 Queen Maud in BR lined green livery. Uh, and then that moves us forward to the. Actually, this is another exciting logo, actually. It's, uh, sorry. It's, uh, your wish list just got bigger. It, it, yeah, it increasingly gets bigger. Um, so, um, when Hornby produced its new Duchesses in 2017, they did something that had never been done before with Ready to Run for Double O Gauge, and they did the last two Ivor Duchesses, uh, or catered for the two of them with them. So we got 46256, so William Stanner, Stanier, sorry, uh, was released in the first lineup of new Duchesses. Uh, but everyone's then been saying, when can we have 46257 City of Salford? No, you can. It's coming in 2020, and it's going to be in BR line green. Uh, it's got all the modifications to the cab, which are, are different on the Ivor Duchesses. Um, so that'll be a really nice addition for those who've already got 46256. You can now get its friend as well. So, okay, and that's uh, June, September 2020 for £189.99. Equally important in um, Stanley Pacific Land is the streamlined Princess Coronation. Um, and that's coming back again in 2020 as 6220 Coronation. So the original loco is going to be in uh, lined Caledonian blue. Um, and there's a very interesting addition to go with that later on in the carriage section as well. Give them gave away a little bit there. Uh, that's June, September 2020 as well, £189.99. Uh, whizzing through these, uh, we've got uh, another Lord Nelson as well. Uh, they're currently planning to do 864 Sir Martin Frobisher. Uh, that'll be £169.99 in June, July. Um, we've then got a little series of national collection, um, what's called Railway Museum now, um, locomotives as well. So doing the OSWR livery on the T9440 as 120. Uh, that's June, October 2020 for £169.99. Uh, we've got Load Star, which is the only surviving Great Western Star, uh, 4003. Uh, that's due in October 2020 for £179.99. And completing the uh, Railway Museum collection at this point, we've got uh, Britannia 7013 Oliver Cromwell, uh, and it's BR lined green with early crests on the tender. Um, and I, I can't remember if it's different to previous editions or not, but this is with a large early crest. Um, so the most recent one they did on Oliver Cromwell in uh, 2018 to mark the end of steam anniversary that was with the late crest because that was as it was at the end of steam whereas this is with large early crests so, so subtle differences i was on that when it ran out of boiler ticket just as yeah. well yeah yeah it's, uh, um, yeah it's a really nice logo actually yeah. Britannia. Uh, so that's again october 2020 that's due £199.99 for that Britannia. So. okay um the one-to-one -one collection um a lot of people have now have had the chance to go around the one-to-one -one collection. They had it open for the first time in the summer this year when Hornby had its open weekend in Margate. Um, some really nice products and the locos in there. Uh, and one of the things that is going to be, we're told, is going to be coming into there for, for storage is uh, BR9F 92212, um, which is what Hornby selected to become their one-to-one -one collection item for the 2020 range. So. See, when we uh, went to the press launch for this range, we actually had a tour with Simon Kohler himself yeah, that's right. um, around the 1 1 collection, and they were laying the track for this 9F, which was yes. yet to arrive at the time. That's right, yeah. Um, so. But uh, how the other half live? That's right, yeah. Laying track. <laughs> just lay more track. lanes of track. Yeah, yeah it's just like being in the garage, isn't it? So. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so that's due out in October 2020 as well, £109.99 for that. So. Okay, right, more exciting things now. Uh, right, so another exciting addition on the steam side and something that's a missing link in the Pacific range as well uh, is uh, the A22 462s, which were introduced by Thompson. Uh, now, these were actually made by rebuilding the P2282s um, and they look really quite different to everything else because of the position of the cylinder block. So normally with a Pacific, the cylinder block sits kind of just above or above the, uh, the front bogey, um, whereas with these, the, the cylinder block was further back. Um, gave them a slightly odd appearance in some ways, but... Uh, distinctive and fine engines so uh, they're doing 60501 Cock of the North uh, and they're also doing 60505 Thane of Fife on the A22 tooling um, both of those are due at the moment December 2020 with a price of £189.99 each um, stocking filler for you it's not the stocking filler yeah to go with the W1 <laughs> yeah so. Um, so as well as the A22, Hornby's also doing the A23, uh, and both of these are they're brand new toolings. Um, so, but the A23, uh, these were production locos by Thompson rather than rebuilds, um, and they had a, quite a similar appearance to the A22. They had the setback cylinder block again, um, and it, quite a, a strange looking loco in some ways. Like I said about the A22. Um, so, but they're doing four of these in the first year. They're doing 500 Edward Thompson, which is going to be, in, I believe, an LNER lined apple green livery. I've got 514 Chamosset, which is going to be, in, I believe, again, only our lined up or green livery. 
Uh, we've got 60512 Steady Aim, which will be in BR Line Green with Early Crests. Um, we've got 60523 Suncastle, which will be in BR Line Green with Late Crests as well. Uh, now they're due in December 2020 uh, for £189.99. So, so that'll be another nice stocking for us to go with the W1. So, so Annie R is doing well this year. I feel um, sorry for your other half, has to buy for you next Christmas. <laughs> the list is getting longer, isn't it? So, um, another exciting addition as well, and something that's been on, on the wanted list for a long time, is the BR 2MT 260. Um, so this is the, the, the fleet of logos rebuilt in the BR by British Railways. Uh, very similar to the IVA 2MT, but there's some sort of differences to their cabs and other details on them as well. Um, so they're doing three of these in their first year. Uh, we've got 78047, uh, which I believe is in BR Black with Lake Crests. We've got 78010, which I believe is with early crests on BR Line Black and we've got uh, the original locomotive 78000 which I understand is going to be in BR Plain Green with late crests so, uh, so quite an interesting little collection of logos there um, I actually want one of those for my collection. They're, they're nice little logos, not, yeah. yeah. So, um, and the thing to mention with all these steam logos I talked about as well, they will all have eight pin decoder sockets and space for a speaker in them as well. And as, as far as I understand at this point, it'll be a 28mm round speaker space, which is de designed into the tenders. So. I think going forward for Hornby, everything they now design will have room for a speaker. That's right, that's, that's, what, it. that's what they said to Just us. Just yeah. yeah. standard yeah. now, isn't standard, it? Standard, yeah. yeah. Sign of the times. So, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so that concludes the steam logos. So, Join us again in a moment and we'll go forward and start talking about electric locomotives. Right, so moving on to electric locos, yep. we're going to start now with what probably should be in the railroad range. Um, however, they've uh, put it in the electric section yes and this is a Malcolm Rail class 90 yep. um, in quite a striking livery yes I think the, the livery is the main reason that it's in the in the main range rather than the railroad range I mean the, the, the artwork on this and I think people probably might be aware of, of 90024 it's got a um, it's a photographic um, side to I think is probably the best word to describe yeah. isn't it so, a vista um, a vista yeah so it's 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 the full artwork across the whole length of the loco um, so that's going to look stunning in model form so Due out, of course, November 2020, yep. and has an RRP of £90.99. and Yep, that's right. Okay, and sticking with the electric theme, another exciting locomotive, and one that's right up your street. This oh, yes, well, yeah. one of, probably one of the big announcements yes. of the 2020 range yes. for Hornby. Yep. It is none other than a Class 91. That's right, yeah. And not just a Class 91, they're doing four liveries. Yep, and it is brand new tooling as well. This is a completely retooled loco. It owes nothing to what went before in the Hornby range, so, you know, it's a proper... Yep. Heavy die cast chassis in there, 8 pin decoder socket, uh, directional lighting, all those things we've come to expect from a high end Hornby loco. So. And it's about time. It is, yeah. yeah. So, where will we start? First of all, we've got the ever traditional Swallow livery, uh, Durham Cathedral 91002. Yep. Um, moving on, we have the JNER uh, 91117 Cancer Research UK. I think this will be very popular. Yep. I think probably top of the four is easily the For the Fallen, yep. which is 91111. Yep. Um, the next on the list will suits me down to the ground, of course. The LNER Class 91, 91118, the Fusiliers. Now, as you said, all these are brand new tooling. Yep. They are all due in December 2020, and they all have an RRP of 169.99. That's right, yeah. So yeah, an exciting addition to the to the range. Now the one thing I think we will mention it right now is that at the moment Hornby hasn't said whether it's going to do Mark IV coaches or not for them, um, or a DVT, or a DVT. But there are no Mark IV coaches in this year's range. We'll say that right now. So yeah, because yeah. I I was left hanging. Yeah. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, you look at when this is coming out. It's due at the end of 2020. Um, we don't know what's going to come in the 2021 range. We don't know how well these are going to sell. You know, we'll have to see what happens next. So it'd be interesting to see if they sell without the rest. Yes. Yeah, because at the moment they're, they've just done the passenger load. Because I know, I know the 91 might have a slightly different future. Um, I'm aware of the Euro Phoenix one, yep. which has just been exported, I believe, haven't they? So, but what else is going to happen with the Class 91? I'm not entirely sure at the moment. So, so, so yeah, I, I watch this space on the on the Mark IVs. Like I say, we don't know anything, but we'll see what Hobby says. So. Uh, 
another important part of the Hornby range. So um, these are all re-liveries though this year on, on the diesel loco side. Um, there are no new tunes we're going to talk about in these, uh, so we'll go through these fairly briefly, I think. Yeah. So, so, okay, so we're going to start off with uh, a trio of Rustin 48 DS. Um, these have been very popular since they arrived this year. Uh, we have one running on 20 wagons on the top of the day as well, which is a nice bit of fun. Um, Again, what happens when you leave me alone with top of the <laughs> <laughs> um, So first on the list, we've got uh, a Derwent Valley Light Railway uh, green one uh, as Jim. Um, that's due in September 2020. Uh, we've got a Grant Rail bright yellow one, uh, also due in September 2020. Uh, we've got uh, an Express Dairy one with an open, ca open side of cab, I should say. Uh, and that's due in December 2020, uh, and all those are priced at £89.99 each. Um, following on from those, uh, again, this is actually quite an exciting one for me as well, actually. A bit of a missing link in the Class 31 range has always been the Dutch delivery without with uh, head coat boxes on it. Uh, they're doing 31147 uh, Floriate Salupia in, in Dutch grey and yellow, uh, and with the um, shaped cowl around the roof fan as well. Uh, so that's quite a nice addition. That's due in September 2020 for £179.99. Uh, and that will be joined by a BR green one as D5627 as well. Uh, that's due in November and same price, £179.99. So, uh, moving forward, there's another Ooh. exciting pair of logos here. That's uh, uh, the GBRF Class 50s. Where would we be without GBRF Class 50s? That's, uh, uh, we've got 5007 Hercules and we've got 5049 Defiance, both in their current GBRF livery that are in now. Um, these two have been seen up and down the country on rail tours. You have be. to buy them together. You, you do, you have to buy two. <laughs> uh, in, in, in a way, Hornby just put a box together, but it's, you, know, you have to have the two. Um, you can't have one without the other. Um, I know for some, perhaps, from the purest point of view, having a, a Class 50 and a GBRF livery might be a bit of a, a, a strange thing, but actually, I think they look fantastic. You know? and great to see the, the, these locos are still out on the main line working as well on a regular basis. So, it's, uh, And of course, September release, 179.99. That's right, yep. It's, uh, uh, moving forward then we've got a they're only doing one class 56 this year and it's in floyd zert black livery um they've done this with the class 92 this year where they did a european uh, romanian i think it was romanian db cargo one um, and this is an overseas livery on the class 56 uh, so modeling one of the exported locos um that's uh, due in september 2020 for 170 pounds 99 uh, we've then got two uh, db cargo livery class 60s we've got 6100 midland railway butterley and stainless steel pioneer 60 uh, 60062 uh, they're both due in september 2020 priced at 179 pound 99 each um, and adding to that uh, another one i think will be right over your street this one absolutely as well. uh, colorless rail freight livery on class 60 60021 um same price same release date so, uh, Okay. I think the Hornby 60 is an absolutely stunning logo. It's one of their top diesels, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. So uh, that and the 50 have got to be amongst yeah. the best. So, that's, uh, um, okay, and then finishing off the uh, the diesel range, we've got a pair of 08 Clash Hunters. We've got uh, 08645 St. Piran, and that's in uh, the black livery with the white Cornish cross on it. Um, that's coming in September 2020 for £145.99. Uh, and then we've got uh, a nice, simple, classic plain BR blue one without D numbers as 3817. Um, that's, again, I, for me, sometimes the ordinary is just as exciting as the extraordinary. And, uh, you know, it's like we've talked about some of the exciting liveries coming on the 91, the class 90 and things. Plain BR blue does it just as much. Yeah, it's, uh, so September 2020 again, and it's £165.99 for, for the blue one. So. Oh, and that's with twin touch sound as well, I should mention as well. So, so that's why that's why it's a bit time. more expensive, yeah. 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 So, uh, okay, and we're actually we're continuing on double, on diesel locos as well. Yeah. Um, in the 2019 range, Hornby did it called the Coco Cavalcade, which is a series of Class 66s in different liveries. Uh, they're repeating that in 2020 as well. So we've got a whole list of new liveries on the Class 66. Um, so these all use the old Lima tooling. Um, so don't expect them to be exact matches for how the real locos are on the railway. It's like when we come to some of the 66.7s and things, they haven't got the central, the extra doors on them and things like that, and they haven't necessarily got the correct underframes. Um, however, they are priced to, to, to reflect that as well. Uh, Hornby's also offering a, a deal through its retailers on its uh, Coco Cavalcade class 66 as well where if you buy uh, one of these locos and a matching twin track sound sound decoder to go with the class 66 or with the class 66 sound file uh, you can get that for 100 pounds so i mean that's incredible value absolutely um, yeah it's, uh, and some really good liveries coming up as well so we've got uh, the current um genesee and wyoming freight line delivery uh 66623 
Uh, we've got Ocean Network Express in its magenta colour scheme. Six, you have six, to say five, magenta. I do, I've been told. Um, six, six, five, eight, seven as one we can. The pink one. Yep, the pink one. Um, magenta. Um, we've got uh, GBRF New Orleans Wright Class 66, 6747 six, made in Sheffield. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got, well, actually, we've got two here. We've got uh, 66743 and 66746, both in the Belmore and Royal Scotsman livery. We have got um, 66780, the Semex Express. I quite like that livery, actually. Uh, we've got 66727, Andrew Scott CB in GBRF um, livery with the first group um, swishes at the end. Uh, we've got 66725, Sunderland in classic GBRF livery with the big um, football scarf on the side as well. Uh, we've got 66405 in DRS Markham Logistics livery. Uh, 66047, Maritime Intermodal 2. And also, we've got some more 66733 Cambridge PSB in GBF Europort livery, uh, 66109 T Sport Express uh, with DB, DB Cargo logos and PD ports, uh, 66434 uh, with uh, Malcolm Rail branding on it. And we've also got 66514 in the classic original Freightliner livery as well. Um, all those are due between January and June this year. Um, like I say, seventy-five pound piece, and then there's an offer on if you want to get twin tracks and decoder for them as well. Because I think, although dare I say it, the sixty-six market has become slightly crowded almost overnight in the this industry. It's certainly very but busy at the moment. The yeah. Hornby model has definitely found its place. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, Hornby wouldn't be doing these if the, if the previous batch did last yeah. year hadn't sold through. Um, we saw those rocket off the shelves last year. So you know, again, I think the part the price is part of this as well. Oh yeah, the deliveries are going to be done to really high standard. Like it's a bit like the railroad plus thing, really high standard delivery. Okay, you have to accept that the model may be quite perfect in some of its details, but it's you know, extremely collectible. Yep, definitely collectible. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, excellent. So, right, so moving on then to coach packs. Next. Let's get on with coaches. Yep. So we start with the coach packs. Um, so this is where I talk a little bit more about the APT as well. Um, so Hornby's doing a series of different coach packs uh, to allow you to expand on the APT sets. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how much people know about the APTs, but basically they were separated into two halves by their uh, motor cars, because the motor cars didn't have a passenger route through them. Uh, and the motor cars were sent in the centre of the train. Um, so you had to have a repeat of different coaches at either end of the train. Um, Again, that's where my knowledge at this moment runs out. Off, off I'm glad you have a little bit of knowledge yeah. on that because <laughs> <laughs> reading through the notes, it was a bit... <laughs> yeah, that's a, a very brief, <laughs> mind blowing, basic overview of, of how they work. To allow you to expand the uh, APT set, they're, they're doing these coach packs. So you've got, uh, you can have a trailer second coach pack uh, and they're doing two of those. Uh, they're doing a, a trailer with a restaurant buffet in it as well. Uh, again, two pairs of two coach packs. Uh, they're doing a TU uh, pack as well. Uh, and they're doing a trailer first coach pack as well. Uh, so you've got lots of choices there to expand upon the basic APT. So if you bought the five or the seven, you can expand it and make it into a, a, a nine or an 11 or whatever you'd like to do. That's, uh, as many as the motor will haul, basically. So. Uh, and then the other coach pack to mention is uh, in, uh, I think it was summer last year, they had the naming of um, a class 395 as Hornby Visitor Centre down at the Southeastern uh, Open Day. Um, at the time of announcing that class 395 javelin, they didn't add the coach back. Uh, they're now they're adding the coach back, so you can now have the f full six car uh, class 395 to model that actual train that's been named Hornby Visitor Centre. So yeah, another nice addition to complete that. So uh, you can actually see them going to the Hornby Visitor Centre as well. That's right, yeah, on the exactly, roadside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And of course, the APT sets coming out in December 2020. That's right, yeah. With each one is a two coach pack with a price of 89.99. That's right, yeah. And then the uh, javelin pack has a price of 79.99, and it's right. due in February. February yeah, that's right. So, 
Okay, so moving on to the single carriages now. So these are all individual carriages we're going to talk about now. Um, so we're going to start with um, the steam era stuff. We've got a, a Great Western B set. Um, they're doing the two brake com composite coaches which make up a Great Western B set uh, in the classic Great Western chocolate and cream livery. Um, they're coming out in October 2020 for £30. Uh, we've then got a series of six Mark II F coaches which are going to cover uh, the standard open, first opens and brake standard opens. Uh, they're coming out in August 2020 at £34.99. Um, nice to go with you if you've got 87019. Um, the Virgin Trains one that came out this year would be yep. quite nice with that. But, uh, uh, and then uh, we move forward to next, um, direct rail services Mark II F coaches, um, again covering the standard open, the brake standard open. Uh, they're due December 2020 at £35 a piece. I think they'll be quite popular. Yeah, definitely. And again, DRS and the Scott yeah. Rail numbers, they get out well, don't they? So, so which nicely leads us on to the Scott Rail Mark yes. 2F as well, which they're doing as a break uh, st second open. Uh, that's due in October 2020 for £35. Uh, and they're also doing two um, standard open Mark 2Fs as well in the Scott Rail livery. So again, you'll be able to start building a nice rake of uh, Scott Rail stock on the Mark 2F. Um, the Mark 2Fs, um, uh, again, they're brand new out this year. so. So more expansion to the carriage range. Okay, uh, and then uh, we talked about the HST um, Intercity Swallow Pack earlier on in the uh, in the multiple units part, uh, and they're doing a full set of Mark III coaches to go with that to be able to create a full eight plus two HST formation with Intercity Swallow livery coaching stock. So that would be nice. No more relabeling the coaches. <laughs> That's right. So, so within that, you've got uh, two first opens, and there's then four standard opens. There's a buffet and there's a trailer guards standard as well. So uh, they're thirty-five pounds, sorry, and November twenty twenty they're due for release. Yeah. Oh, another one for you here, Richard. More of your favourite era. Finally, L and yes. Mark yep. Threes are coming back. Yes. Um, of course, same pretty much as the uh, Swallow Livery yep. uh, job is thirty-four ninety-nine each, yep. and due in August. Um, and of course, you get the same uh, same set. Yeah, that's right. So it makes up a full train yep. to go with it with an L and HST power cars. So. That's, uh, including the uh, the trailer standard disabled coaches in there as well. So I don't know if there's actually any tooling changes to that, but it, it, uh, they are all labelled up individually as well for each coach. Um, so when you put the formation together, you can have the correct carriage letters all the way through. So, so it's a nice touch. It is, yeah. So uh, it makes a difference. So um, and same again for the Great Western uh, Green Mark Three coaches as well. Uh, there's a full set of those to make an eight car train to go with the Great Western um, HST power cars. And again, same price, £34.99 in June, May 2020. Right, uh, going back in time a little bit now from HST Coach, we're going to go right back to the start of the British Railways carriage series to the Mark 1s. Um, and uh, in 2020, Hornby's doing a set of BR Southern Region Green Mark 1s. Uh, and they're covering the, uh, the the second corridor, the corridor composite, uh, the brake second corridor, trail standard open, uh, first open, and the uh, gangway brake as well. Um, they're due in December 2020 as well, and £35 per coach. A new item for carriage as well for the Mark Ones. Uh, something that's been really needed in in carriage circles is more Buffy cars, uh, and Hornby stepped up to the game and it's going to deliver us an, uh, a Mark One RB in 2020. Um, it's currently due in November 2020 for 35 pound per coach. Um, like I said, brand new tooling. It will follow the current standards of the Mark Ones that are already in the Hornby range at the moment, uh, and that will be available in um, Western Region Chocolate and Cream, uh, in BR Southern Region Green, and I believe in BR Maroon as well. So Western, Southern and Midland numbers on the first batch. Him. And just to top that off, something a bit more modern for people as well, they're also doing the Mark 1 RB in, in city colours as well, uh, which I think is quite a nice addition as well. Um, so that would be actually quite a good compliment to go with anyone who's got the Backman in city livery kept Mark 1s that have been out in the past. So, uh, so that's £35.99 again, and again June, November 2020. So. Skipping forward in time again, and something again, I think we're right up your street. Your Moving on to Flying Bananas. Yes. Yep. Finally, we get some more Mark III coaches out. Yeah, I can Because they did become a bit like Rocking Horse Plop. Yes, they did. So they're bringing two more coaches out, uh, both 34 99 and due in November. Yep, and they're both from the new measurement train and carrying that distinctive bright network rail yellow. So, and next, we've got uh, Mark III DVT in network rail colours as well. It's nice to see that actually. Yep. Again, November release, seventy four ninety nine on the price tag. And moving forward again, we've now got, uh, so we've got a series of Mark II F based um, network rail test coaches as well now. Um, so we've got a, a test train brake force runner. Uh, we've got a structure gauging train support coach. Uh, we've got a another Mark II D support coach. Um, there's a brake plane line pattern recognition vehicle. 
and they're all £34.99 during November 2020. Um, oh, they're also doing, um, they're doing the structure gauging train driving and instrumentation vehicle as well. Um, so that's been nice. That's on the Mark One coach as well. Uh, it's got a lot of painted out windows based on one of the BSK coaches. So. It's almost like they bought too much yellow paint for when they did the yellow submarine uh, range earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can have enough yellow coaches. No, can you? I mean, they, these are incredibly popular when they go on sale. So and they've really um, gone to town with bringing them back, I suppose. That's right. Yeah, and it's actually nice to see them doing some of the different trains as well. So when, you know, it's like in the past, perhaps they've been a bit more focused on the Mark Threes to go with the HST power cars and doing a new measurement train. But actually, it's nice to see the new, the structure gauging train coming as well. Um, so I did actually a long time ago have a ride on the structure gauging train all around the south, and that, that was brilliant. You know, seeing them actually working the train because that was when it had the the light vehicle in the middle as well, which did all the scanning. Um, that was a, a very late late night out. That was so, <laughs> things you do. Yeah, so, I was happy. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got a Mark One uh, BG generator van as well. Uh, that's due in November 2020 for 35 pounds. And they're doing a super, G, super GUV as well uh, for November 2020, and that's coming in at £30. Um, going back a little bit earlier in terms of um, departmental stock, they're also doing a couple of the um, research department coaches as well. Uh, this is the first time Hornby's done them on its Mark 1 range. I know they've been done before uh, on, on, on other Mark 1 ranges, uh, but they're doing uh, Landor breakdown units ADB 975082. Uh, that's due in December 2020 for £34.99. Uh, they're also doing um, uh, brake standard open uh, as Laboratory 10 uh, in the same uh, R&D blue and red livery. Um, we've also got a ballast cleaning staff coach, um, well, a trio of them in fact actually, uh, all mark based on VR Mark 1 SKs. Uh, they're due in December 2020 for £34.99 each. And uh, well, we mentioned these briefly earlier, didn't we? Yeah, uh, the... I'm really looking forward to this yes. actually. Um, new liveried Pendolino and of course the coaches to go with. Yes, that's right, yeah. So I think it'll make a great set again, Thirty-four ninety-nine per coach due in October. Yep, that's right. And they're doing all five of the coaches you need to make up a full nine coach set as well. So, so those those five single coaches, they'll go with your four car train pack and make you a full train. So. As a side note to the catalogue, I'm sure the coaches are due before the actual train. Uh, yes, by the look of it, oh yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, because the train was due in December 2020, yeah. and these are due in October 2020. So, so, so make sure you get your coaches. Yeah, so they're, they're your autumn present. <laughs> yeah, so, and then train back for your Christmas present. <laughs> okay, uh, this is another missing link actually in, in recent times in terms of, of what's been in the Hornby range. We've got uh, another Mark 3 DVT coming out in intercity swallow livery. Um, these apparently are now very sought after. Uh, this one's coming out as 82116, uh, June November 2020 for 75 pounds. Um, and we've also got, going back to the development theme as well, we've got a uh, Intercity APT X Trailer Second Development Vehicle, um, which has been offered to, as part of the, the APT range. That'll be £39.99 due in December 2020. And um, this is another exciting one for me as well. We mentioned uh, Coronation earlier, the, the, the Princess Coronation 462 with its streamlined Caledonian blue livery. Uh, and probably the most exciting part of the carriage range for me this year is that they're doing the whole Stanier Coronation set. Now, in the past, we've seen the Coronation livery done on Hornby's existing Stanier 57 foot coaches, but they weren't the correct vehicles to properly replicate the train. So the, the Coronation Scott set was made up of 57 foot, 50 foot, 65 foot coaches. Uh, they had different vehicle types as well. Um, and Hornby is going to be covering um, a series of those. So we've got a, a pair of 57 foot um, brake coaches. One is a brake third, one is a brake first. Uh, there is a 57 foot first corridor. Uh, there is two 50 foot restaurant cars. Uh, and there are then, there's a 60 foot restaurant first open, 65 foot restaurant first open, sorry. Uh, and then a, a series of 57 foot restaurant third opens as well. Um, so they'll be really nice. I mean, I'm, I'm really be forward stunning to that will. Yeah, I mean, you, you can imagine that with the, with the big blue princess and the princess coronation on the front and a full rake of matching coaches uh, running behind that. That's going to be something else. Again, um, another bright livery. I yes. think it's going to be very popular. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Again, sought after coaches. So uh, they're due in October 2020 and £47.99 per coach, that is. <laughs> that would be a deal. <laughs> it would be a very good deal. The forty seven pound ninety nine for the whole set, but no, it is per coach that price. So, so okay, and that concludes the coaches for the time being. So we'll join us in a minute and we'll skip forward into the wagons and the rest of the range. Into so, the wagons. Yeah.
Right, so moving on to the wagon section. Let's so, have a look. Yeah, we can start talking about good stuff. Now, there are no new tooling products in the, in the wagon range this year, uh, so I'm going to briefly just run through the highlights of, of what they're doing. Um, there's a number of wagon packs. Uh, so we've got, um, we've got a set of Hornby Retro wagons, uh, which are in Jacob Biscuits, Palethorpes, um, Sausages and United Dairies colours. Uh, we've got another pack coming up, um, which has a Coleman's Mustard Liberated Van, Crawford's Biscuits Van and a Secotine Sticks to Everything. Um, tanker as well. Um, those two packs are due in November 2020 for £44.99 each. Uh, we've then got, these will be nice actually, these will go down well, uh, got the ECC CDA hoppers uh, with a weathered finish as a triple pack. Uh, they're due in August for £69.99 uh, and they're going to be joined by a National Wagon Preservation Group hopper pack. Uh, that's going to have three HAA hoppers in it. That's due in December 2020 for £69.99 as well. Um, if you're looking for something slightly earlier for era three stroke four, we've got a set of three corn products, uh, 20 ton tanker wagons as well. Uh, they're coming in August 2020 for £48.99. Uh, follow that up with, uh, actually we were looking for some of these the other day when we were doing a train formations feature. Uh, they're doing the BR um, 27 ton iron ore tippler as a MSV tops coded wagon uh, with the uh, stone logos on it. Uh, they're coming in August 2020 for £49.99. Um, and also a new diversion actually for Hornby, I've, I've, I think they did a couple of these last year, but they're, they're expanding their range of separate containers as well this year. Uh, so we've got a series of packs of containers, each one's got a, a 20 foot and a 40 foot container in it. Uh, they're coming out from June and they're priced at £13.99 each. Uh, for the pair, that for is. The, for the pair, that yeah. is, yeah. So that gets you a 40 foot and a 20 foot in a matching livery in each case. Um, so they're covering PD ports, um, the Malcolm Logistics, uh, Freightliners, current Genesee and Wyoming Orange. Uh, we've got a Pentalva um, pair as well, and we've got a pair of One Ocean Network Express ones in magenta. And white. And white, yes. Magenta and white, yes. It does make sense considering that they are uh, doing a lot of 66s, which yes. would haul them, so it, it's right, a yeah. natural yeah. step. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I thought was slightly unusual with this is they haven't actually done a, an empty KFA this year, whereas last year I think they did a couple of empty KFAs yeah. as well. Um, so that would have been maybe a nice thing they could have done, but it's, it's not the end of the world, is it? At the end of the day, we can swap these containers around on any other wagons we want to anyway. So, it's, uh, Right, so moving forward to some more wagons. Uh, we've got uh, the, the new LMS brake vans and the LSWR brake vans, which literally just touched down just the day after we went to press with our February issue. Uh, they, they, they arrived in the office literally just a few hours too late. Uh, but we've got a new batch of those coming in 2020 as well. Uh, so we've got an LMS Borkside Liberid one. Uh, we've got a, a BR grey one with tops code on it as a ZTO. Uh, they're due in August 2020 for £22.99 each. Um, added to that, we've got um, three new LSWR new van goods brake vans as well. So there's going to be one in LSWR Borksite, one in Southern Railway Borksite, and one in BR Grey, and they're all due in August 2020 as well for £24.99 each. Moving back to the British Railways era, uh, actually it's nice to see they're doing a couple more BR 20 ton brake vans as well. Uh, they're doing one in uh, a car registered van in green with uh, distribution logos on it in June 2020 for £21.99. And they're also doing another car registered one as well uh, in Borksite with the, the yellow centre panel on the body side as well. Uh, interestingly as well, that one's actually got a Borksite underframe shown on it as well. So it's something a little bit different that's been done before. So. It's a nice livery to be fair. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of the classic and the modern that one, isn't yeah. it? So, so you get the classic Borksite, but with a little bit of a modern splash of yellow. So it's, uh, uh, September 2020 for that one and costing £18.99. Um, and then sticking with the brake van themes, actually Hornby's got a really good collection of brake vans now. So we've got a pair of Great Western Toads to their AA15 design. Um, so one is in Great Western grey uh, with Cheltenham High Street lettering on it. Uh, and as Simon mentioned, Trevor from Cheltenham Old Centre will be delighted with that one. Um, <laughs> and we've also got a, a BR grey one uh, with Stoke Gifford Are You Not In Common Use on it as well. Um, so they're both due in June 2020, £21.99 each for those. Uh, and that's the brand new Toad brake van tooling, which I think came out in 2018 for those. So. Okay, moving forward, horse boxes. Uh, we've got a Great Western horse box in GWR Brown, and we've got a Great Western horse box in BR Crimson as well. They're due in June 2020 for £23.99 each. Uh, and then we move into the uh, open wagons as well. Uh, I'm going to very briefly run through these because there's quite a few of them. But, uh, <laughs> so we've got, uh, they're due from August onwards, uh, and the prices start from £12.99. Uh, we've got a Great Western three plank. Um, there's an LSWI engineering department three plank wagon. Uh, we've got a C Addicott and Sons uh, four plank open wagon. 
uh, with a four plank open wagon with Bestwood Ironworks from Nottingham. Uh, there is a Dowdo Lime and, and Stone Litter from Buxton wagon. Um, we've got a Herbert Wrigler from Bournemouth Central uh, five plank wagon. As a six plank, six plank wagon as Creole Stone Collieries. Uh, we've got T. Harrison and Sons uh, Red on a six plank wagon. Uh, Gardner of Norwich on a seven plank wagon. Uh, Madge from London and Brighton, seven plank wagon in grey. Uh, and then we move on to a uh, 14 ton tanker as well. And actually, before I go on to that one, actually, I just mentioned with those wagons we've just looked at now, the open wagons, um, they've all got uh, an upgraded chassis on them as well. So oh, those have all now got NEM coupling pockets on them. And I think all of them have also got the, now the new Hornby twin spoke wheels on them as well. Um, so a couple of little additions on those. And they're not just the old wagons we've been turning out over and over again. New chassis, new details, move them forward a bit. So, so they did do something new. Yes. Yeah. Uh, next in the list, uh, we mentioned it a moment ago, we've got a 14 ton tanker in Burma, the um, that's uh, due in November 2020 for £15.99. Uh, we've also got a 20 ton tanker in United Morris as Brown. And uh, I, I remember this one, having one of these as a, as a Lima model when I was younger as well. Um, a St Ival six wheel milk tanker uh, in the classic white and red uh, from era three stroke four. Uh, that's due in September 2020 for £14.99. Uh, I should mention the tankers are coming in at £15.99 and £16.99 each respectively and due in November 2020. Uh, we've also got a Crawshaw Brothers 8 ton line wagon, which is due in August 2020 for £14.99. Uh, there's a John Delaney 8 ton line wagon, uh, again in August 2020 and £14.99. Uh, and Hornby's also bringing back its Siphon H as well. Uh, this was, I think it was originally designed by either Airfix or Dapple, this wagon. Um, it's really nice. Parcels found they're using milk trains and things like that as well. And they're doing the Siphon H in Great Western Brown, and they're doing it in BR Maroon as well. Uh, they're due out in October 2020 for £19.99 each. And they've been out of the range for a couple of years, so it's nice to see them come back. Um, a couple of Shunters trucks, uh, Great Western one lettered for Bordesley Junction, uh, due in June 2020 for £16.99, and uh, one in um, BR period for lettered for Taunton, uh, also due in July 2020 for £16.99. Um, another return is the uh, Jiggle Armour Core Bogey Bolster Wagon. Um, we've got a Great Western one due in July 2020 for £19.99 uh, and then a BR liveried version of the Bogey Bolster A due in July 2020 for £19.99. Uh, the twin uh, Bogey Press Flow cement tank, that's coming back, that was a former Lima tooling. Uh, that's coming in September 2020 for £24.99 in plain grey. Um, the other popular sea cow, Mark will be buying these by the bucket load. Um, that's coming back in classic Dutch livery uh, during October 2020 for £29.99. Uh, the MSV um, stone wagon we mentioned is the triple pack. That's also coming as an individual wagon, so you can expand that rate as well. Uh, that's due in June 2020 for £16.99. Um, importantly, more HAAs, you can never have enough of these. Um, this one's coming as an HBA with the top skip on top of the, uh, the main body. Um, and that's uh, June, September 2020 for £24.99. Um, we've also got a DB Cargo livery of CDA Hopper uh, due in November for £24.99 and a heavily weathered uh, Rail Freight Coal Sector livery HAA wagon uh, also due in October 2020 for £22.99. Um, it's, it's nicely weathered, all the graffiti logos on it, a bit like the CCT that Hornby did this year. So, so. I don't like what the picture says, funky. Yes, fun <laughs> funky, yes, funky graffiti. Uh, oh, and another graffiti wagon actually as well. We've got a 100 ton tanker which is heavily weathered with graffiti on it as well. Uh, and that's using Hornby's long standing 100 ton tanker moulding. So uh, that's June and July 2020 for £30. And right, okay, next we've got a ferry van in uh, electrification engineer construction livery. Uh, so it's basically departmental olive green. Um, good choice again, department stuff always goes down well. Uh, that's due in July 2020 for £19.99. Uh, we've got uh, an XLMS CCT uh, in the research division red and blue. Um, that's coming out in December 2020 for £22.99. Uh, Civil Link uh, VAA van, which is actually coded as a ZRA because it's, it's part of the engineer's fleet. Uh, September 2020, that's due for £19.99. And then we go into container mode again. So it's so a KFA is to build up your fleet here, Richard. Absolutely. So, uh, I'm quite excited by a couple of these because I like tank containers. So. Okay. So, uh, so we've got one with three... 20 foot tank containers on it uh, and that's coming in at 34.99 and due in Ju July uh, sorry June 2020. The next one is coming again with three 20 foot containers but with the box containers rather than the tank containers uh, and that's coming in for 34.99 uh, 
and we've got one with the uh, the fantastic magenta livery and white livery one ocean network express containers on it as well uh, that's but that's with a 40 foot and a 20 foot container for 34 pound okay so uh, to wrap up the the wagons then we've got uh, two more to, to talk about we've got uh, the, the classic merry christmas 2020 uh, wagon uh, which is fully loaded with presents and a bear uh, and that's due in july 2020 at 15 pound 99 and we've also got a Hornby Centenary Year wagon as well, uh, which has got the Hornby Centenary Year logo on it. It's also got Hornby Trains logos, Hornby Double O and Hornby Railways logos on it. Uh, that's due in April 2020 for £14.99. Both extremely collectible, and I think they just fly off the shelves, apparently. Yes. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You think about it, you've been collecting these wagons for years, you want to get another one to yeah. continue, don't you? So, so yes, yeah, so that concludes the wagons for this year. So. So that was a lot of wagons. They are really spoiling us this year. Yes, yeah, plenty to choose from there. So like I said, no new tilling as such, but you know, there's still plenty of choice there and some really good wagons in their range now as well. I mean, some of those, like the brake vans, for example, they're, they're second to none, for those new brake vans from Hornby. So yeah, really good stuff. So, right, so next we're going to move on to power, control and sound. Are you ready? I am. Let's go. Power control and sound is the next thing we're going to talk about. Um, and we start off with uh, the four pin decoder. Now, this has been part of Hornby's range for quite a while. Um, it's been used in the, the Sentinel four wheel diesel shunter and it was also used for the Peckett W4. Uh, it's also used in a couple of their train set logos as well. Uh, it's always been listed as a spare part number, it was X9659 before, um, but that's now moving across to be part of the proper decoder range. So it now become known as R7274. Uh, it's going to be £15.99 and the first batch of those ones is due into in stock in uh, May 2020. Um, so that's just a useful addition, makes it a bit easier to find the decoder as well. So, um, so then in the Hornby range you'll have its 8 pin R8249, 6 pin R7150 and a 4 pin R7274. So, and how you remember that is beyond me. That's, uh, m my brain is a bit weird. So another exciting addition actually on the power control and sound section is um, a new app-based analog control system from Hornby. Um, uh, this is really quite clever. I like the idea of this. It's, it's moving things forward with analog. Analog has traditionally been about having a control up on a box. You turn it up, train goes faster, you turn it down, train goes slower. Um, this new app system is going to be quite a bit different. It's going to give you a lot more intuitive control, I feel, from what I can see so far with it. Uh, and it uses a Bluetooth connection between your phone uh, or a tablet and a device which Hornby's developed to connect to your layout. Uh, you can have up to eight separate circuits controlled from one handheld device. Um, and then it can also operate locomotives points and accessories. Um, it can also play sounds and those sounds will play from the phone not from the locos uh, and it includes separate inertia and deceleration control and there's also within it as well there's also a layout design feature as well so you can actually draw your track plan out to go on your smartphone or your iPad or whatever you've got um, to actually drive your trains and control your points. It's um, almost like a DCC light while remaining yeah. analogue. Yeah that's right yeah I, I think it's really exciting you know, yeah. it's like you know <laughs> Again, the market they're trying to aim at is trying to encourage the use of model railways for people who are in the smartphone generation as well. You know, we all have smartphones. You know, we're using them all the time. It's like everything you can think of, you can do with a smartphone. So why shouldn't you be able to control your layout? You know, we've got smartphone apps to control DCC. This is brilliant. I think it's a great step forward. And again, it's another stepping stone for people starting out in the hobby, maybe progressing on to further yes, things later on right, as well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, so there's two main components that Hornby sells uh, beyond the app. So there's an HM6000, which is the base unit which can control two separate circuits. Uh, and that price is £24.99 for one of those, and it's due in June 2020. You can connect four units together, and that'll give you your, your eight circuits. Um, each unit has its own power connection. Um, so those are, those, are, those are the base component which communicate between your smartphone and your track to tell your trains what to do. Uh, and then the other component they're releasing is um, an HM6010 um, and this is the device which can operate accessories, points and those kind of things. Um, you can have a maximum of three of those units per HM6000 control unit and you can have a total of 12, accessory, 12 controllable accessory outlets. So, that was tough. Yes, it was. <laughs> so, uh, they're due in June 2020 for £20.99. And I believe uh, we're setting up a layout at Hornby magazine featuring that control system later in the year. That is my plan, yes. Yep. Yep. Naturally, we want to be trying these things out and testing them. I've got lots of ideas for how we might see those and hopefully be able to see it in public as well. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll work on that and uh, 
and come back to you on that one. Mm. Isn't it? We'll see it in hopefully future publications yeah. slash videos slash right, shows. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be doing more yeah. video content on it. We'll definitely be doing more in the magazine on it. It's a really exciting diversion for Hornby and its control systems. Um, and I think one which could be really strong for it as well. Yeah. Um, but we can't show you all the features now in this video, but it's got a really good looking, clean app interface as well, uh, where you can control different things, different locos, different points as well. Um, and yeah, great. I just can't wait to get my hands on that as well and have a play. So. It's, uh, I was itching the other day when we were down there at the preview. Okay, so that concludes the uh, power and control section anyway. So we're going to move on next to buildings. So uh, the Scaledale building range, another important part of the Hornby collection. Um, this year they're actually bringing in some of the buildings which were originally produced for Oxford Rail. They're being brought into the Scaledale range as well. Uh, and it starts off with four that have already been released uh, by Oxford Rail. So there's a Great Western Station, there's a Great Western Signal Box, there's a church and a public house. Um, like I said, they've already been in the market, um, but you know, they're, they're now going to be part of the Hornby Scaledale range as well. Um, and then moving forward, we've got uh, there's a few buildings from Oxford Rail which didn't actually get into the market yet. And one of those, we've got a Great Western Goods Shed, um, and a, a GWR Engine Shed, a GWR Water Tower, and some platform sections as well. And they're all coming across from the Oxford, Oxford Rail range into Scaledale. Uh, we've also got a couple of new shops as well. We've got a butcher's, uh, a news agent's, uh, and a, a bungalow as well. Uh, and actually a rather nice looking Hazel Cottage, which is quite a distinctive looking building with its, its roof shapes and things. Um, we've then got a, a collection of brand new items for the Scaledale range as well. We actually haven't got any samples of these yet, but they've got photographs of the buildings they're going to be making. So we are going to see an old smithy, uh, an almshouses building, uh, the old rectory, William Warren's jewellers, M. Wilkes photographers, uh, and the Offie. Uh, and finally we've also got a tin tabernacle, a modern timber garage and a stone bus stop uh, and those are due out progressively during the year with prices starting from £7.99 and ranging up to higher prices for the bigger buildings. So. I like the idea that all these buildings are just local to someone whose job it was to go and find new buildings. Well, the, the so they didn't have to go range, anywhere. Yeah, well, the Scaledale range actually started, Simon started it, and he started by going and photographing buildings whilst he's on his journeys. And there's quite a few of them he took around Louth area, where he's, he originally came from, I believe, uh, where he's got family up there or something. Um, so he's, he's done a lot of the, the recceing to find the buildings himself. So, it's, uh, yeah. so but it also means they're all real buildings as well. They're not just made up and... and Put a pin in and see what you get. You know, it's a genuine building they're going to make. Um, and it's everything from a great big good shed down to a tiny little bus shower. You know? it's, uh, it's one of the advantages of scale there. So. Okay. Right, that's the end of uh, the Scaledale range for now. It is. So uh, a couple of just little bits and pieces to mention. The, the Scale Scenics range there, they're adding uh, Mod Rock to that range this year. Um, that's due out in April 2020 for £9.99. Uh, and skipping forward to the Collectors Club, uh, the Collectors Club, um, it's, it's, it's really growing well, it's a Collectors Club at the moment, really good following. Um, key publishing, we work with Hornby on the Collectors Club magazine as well, which is a quarterly 56 page um, magazine. Uh, and the Collectors Club members logo this year, uh, which is exclusive for the members of the club, is a Hornby Centenary logoed 040 tank. So, okay, so that brings us to the end of the main range of products there, uh, which leads us on to another interesting new addition to the collection. And now this one for the purest model railway modeler um, will cause some raised eyebrows. I can see where Hornby's going, <coughs> I can understand where the ideas come from, but it is very different. As they said, yes. try and let go what you think you know about yes. model railways. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, like you, think it'll work. Yes. It's, uh, well, we'll say this, it's dipping their toe in another market. Yeah, that's right, and it's been done in quite a clever way as well. So yeah. it's, it's, it's been designed um, using, rather than going for full new toolings, they're using uh, resin castings for the products they're making for this. Um, and I suppose you skip to the point, they're doing a range of, it's called Bassett Loke Steampunk. Um, so this is a whole range of steampunk-styled locomotives, carriages, wagons, and a few buildings as well. Um, so the, the locos are based on the Hornby classic 040 saddle tank, like under the Smokey Joe chassis. Um, and they've been restyled to have uh, different bits and pieces added to them. Um, I mean, there's a lot to, more to the steampunk 
um, ideology Three. than what I know. Um, but it, it, they're, they're interesting. It's going to, like I say, like I said, target a different market. So very different. See, I think the idea is they want them in the sort of uh, war gaming shops, yes. that kind of market, yeah. and of course the steampunk scene. Yes, because right, it's yeah. Yeah. as yeah. big as things like Comic Con and all that kind of that's jazz. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and the advantage, I suppose, of that is you, know, you think about it in a, in a slightly different way. You put a product with railways in it into, like, for example, the Games Workshop type. Like they're, they're all in the high street again, and the model railway hasn't got many proper high street yeah. shops. You know, we've got a lot of model shops, but we haven't got many high street shops in model railways anymore. Um, whereas putting it into a market like that, it's going to put model railways in front of a different audience again. Um, maybe if someone picks up on the steampunk thing and starts building a steampunk layout. Great, because they might then migrate on and to build another railway later in life, want to get more interest in the railways and where things come from. So, so. And of course, they're starting out with the, the few smaller locos, but yeah. um, depending on how it does, they have a few bigger ones in the pipeline for next yes, Catalog. Yes, yeah. yeah, because they've worked yeah. with uh, Laurie Calvert, so yeah. I think people have seen uh, Cato Pass, which is one of his um, steampunk styled layouts, which has been on the circuit quite, for quite a few years now. Um, his layouts are very compelling, actually, to be fair. I mean, there's loads going off on them always attract loads of attention from visitors to shows as well so it's yeah it'd be interesting to see how this one goes for me like it or loathe it it does stop you and to make you look that's right yeah which is yeah, exactly it yeah that's right and it's not like it's a totally new diversion for hornby either i mean you look back into its history you know in the past we had there was a hornby battle space range um in i think it's in, in the 60s or the 70s um we had there's other sci-fi inspired vehicles as well um so it, it's not a totally off the wall idea it's just something very different to what we've been used to you know hornby as we've known it in recent times it's been more about the high detail British Railways locomotives. That's what it's been about. For me, I think it's a good thing, and I think it'll be a very popular subject to expand their range. So. Anything to help the market and to help Hornby That's ultimately. Right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, of course, I'll have been overlaying images of their demo uh, yes. layout they had at their uh, press launch, that's right, yep, yep. Um, which was filmed back in November. Yes, that's right. Actually, the, the demo layout's an interesting one as well because they're actually doing a, um, a cardboard base that modelers, the, well, the new modelers, who are going to look at Steampunk, can use to actually start laying out a model railway as well. So they're trying to give Steampunk modelers the tools to start out. You know, it's, it's, they're giving them a, a plan of what they might make and ideas as well. Um, and there's also a few extra components there, like they're doing some separate cogs and things like that, which they can use to embellish. Sort of leaving it open, yeah. really. Yeah, leaving it open for, for modellers' imaginations to go where they want them to go. I mean, they said as well, part of this came about through the Great Model Railway Challenge as well. Yeah. Um, I'm sure plenty of people have watched that as well. I think this, the second series was, was great. You know, it's, it's a lot of different ideas in there as well. Um, it's nice to see model railways being treated in a different way sometimes. Um, you know, sometimes we get too focused on a classic model railway, getting the details right yeah. and all those kind of things. It's, it's nice to see that fun and energy come to model I think for a lot of people, it is about the imagination yes. and what yeah. can you do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the prime example was, especially with the steampunk, is having dinosaurs on your layout. Yes, dinosaurs, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Dinosaurs and tea, apparently. So. Yeah. Okay, so I think for, from our perspective, that, that concludes our video on the Hornby 2020 range. Um, like that was said, a mammoth epic, and if you're still yeah, here, well yeah, done. Yeah, well done, yeah. <laughs> so there, there is a lot in this 2020 catalogue. It's going to be a brilliant year for Hornby. Um, I'm really excited about some things. I mean, the, the, the W1, the Rocket, APT, um, the A22, I, I could go on. There's, there's so many things that I've, I've always, you know, scratching on my list of things I want to buy. So that's, uh, it's going to be a really good year. For me, it's the 800, uh, the Pendolino and Avanti, yep. oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Eurostar and the Beatles, yes. of course. Yep. Um, so, I mean, it's quite yeah, an, obviously yeah. the 91. Yeah, the 91, of course. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, if they bring out some coaches. Yes. I'm sure coaches will come for that at some point. Uh, <laughs> you'll be okay. That's my wrist slap later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was only slightly sore about that. Um, of course, don't forget this video will be time stamped in the description or the first comment. I can't remember which way around you do it. Um, so if you need to go back and have a look over or um, pause it because it's a long one, um, just go back and it'll be sectioned out. And of course, don't forget we can uh, get the catalog um, with the Homie magazine, the February edition. That's right, yeah. So with that exclusive discount through WH Smiths and Tesco, it is a limited time offer. Yeah. Um, and it is selector stores as well. So it's not every store. So if you don't find it in the first store you go to, you might need to find a different store that has the offer on. So, um, But it, it is nationwide across the stores. So. And it's worth noting they're not together, so you'll have to pick up the catalogue yes. if I'm in the magazine, right. yep. and it'll be at the till where they give you yep. the discount. Yes, yeah, so they're not in a bag together. Yep. They are two separate stacks, magazine, catalogues, yep. pick one of each up, take them to the till, and they'll do the discount. And if you buy them one or the other, you might as well get the other one, because yep. it's practically one free, almost. Right, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this uh, video with Hornby Magazine. This is the first time we've done this kind of catalogue uh, preview on the magazine's YouTube channel. Uh, we'd like to know what you think. And, 
let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed to our page, please click the subscribe link. We've got lots more video to come in the future. Really exciting stuff on the way for Hornby Magazine. Uh, I think 2020 is going to be a great year all round. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching and we'll uh, see you in the next video. Yeah, see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.